friends today we are going to start with a new chapter motion and time this is chapter number 14 from the textbook and in particularly we will be talking about measurements and standard units this is part number one students talking about measurement measurement is the comparison of an unknown quantity with some fixed quantity of the same kind for example when you go in a shop to buy a 2 kg of sugar then what does a shopkeeper do he takes some amount of sugar he puts it in a weighing machine okay and then if it is digital well it will show the number but if it is not digital then what he will do he has some standard weights of 1 kg okay or 5 kg so he will take up the amount of sugar and he will compare with that 1 kg if he has two blocks of 1 kg he will put it in one of the pan okay two blocks of 1 kg and then he will uh, compare the sugar with these two blocks okay and when the balance uh, is achieved between the 2 kg of blocks and the amount of sugar then he will pack it and give it to you that's how we generally do so measurement is what it is nothing but comparison of unknown quantity with some fixed quantity in our daily life we make measurements all the time if you visit doctor, he will measure your temperature. Okay, if elderly person goes, he will measure his pressure also, blood pressure also. Uh, if you go in a shopkeeper, he measures whatever he gives it to you with the help of weighing machine. So, it is happening all around. Even if you go in a petrol pump, that person measures the volume of the petrol before giving it to you. Though he has machines with him, okay, to help him. But still he does a measurement. Okay. So that's how important measurement is. Now, quantities like length, weight, mass, time, temperature, speed that can be measured are physical quantities. So almost anything that can be measured is a physical quantity. For example, if a person gets angry, okay, we cannot measure his anger because there is no a device as such to measure his anger but we can measure his temperature if someone gets angry his temperature rises so we can measure his temperature so what is physical quantity anything that can be measured so temperature is a physical quantity but anger it cannot be classified as a physical quantity well in earlier times when we didn't have any device we used to measure with the help of foot, foot step, hand span or even arms. But the limitations of these uh, devices is it is unreliable because it changes from person to person. So we cannot depend on these uh, devices. Okay, if we call foot as a device or if you call hand span as a device, you cannot depend on it because it differs from person to person so there was a need for a unit of measurements which could be uniformly used by everyone so no matter in which corner of the world you are okay a measurement of certain things should not change okay so such units are called as standard unit now let us see how did it all begin okay so in 1960 the general conference of weights and measure was held okay which recommended that a common system of measurement should be used all over the world this system was called as si system do you know what is full form of si system si is a french abbreviation of system international d unit okay so that is a full form of si well in this system the standard units are meter okay which is a standard unit of length and it can be symbolized by m small m so anything that we use right in meters we use a symbol small m after the number 
kilogram is nothing but a standard unit of mass and symbol of it is kg so that is a short form of kilogram second second on the other hand is the standard unit of time and the symbol for it is small s remember that this doesn't change units won't change if i say that m is a symbol for meter then you have to use m and all over the world only small m is used for meter nothing else is used so that's how important uh, is standard unit well the kelvin is a standard unit of temperature but i know that we don't generally use it okay but in physics though the common uh, unit is uh, celsius or centigrade we do convert it into degree kelvin okay so the other commonly used um, uh, unit of temperature is fahrenheit so clinical thermometer will give you a measurement in fahrenheit whereas a laboratory uh, thermometer will give you measurement in degree celsius okay so basically we use these two units but still standard unit is kelvin then comes the next topic which is measurement of time the si unit of time is second we all know this because just now we saw it anything that occurs or appears at regular interval can help us to measure time so sun for instance if we consider sun as a object which occurs daily at same point of time then we can use it to measure time and we all know the sun rises almost at the same time every morning it never rises one hour late or two hours late it is almost little minutes difference is there i know that in seconds or in minutes there is a little difference but still approximately every day sun rises at the same time okay so we can use sun as a instrument or as a device to measure time in fact in earlier times when we didn't had any devices as such people used to see the position of sun in the sky and tell the time okay now i'm going to show you couple of pictures and you have to identify them what is this can you guess what device is this you might have seen in old movies or in old story books okay this device was used in early days to measure time it is called as sand clock okay so this device is called sand clock let us see next device now this is quite unique i don't know if you have seen this this particular instrument is also used to measure time this is called as sundial the basic um, procedure of measuring time with the help of sundial is uh, to identify the position of shadow so where is shadow going in this case it is at number 2 so it is 2 pm okay so that's how we guess the time depending upon the position of the shadow okay so once you keep it under the sun okay uh, outside uh, you have to look for a shadow if shadow falls on 3 so it is 3 pm so that's how we measure time that's how we used to measure time nowadays we have all kind of clocks all kind of watches digitals uh, digital watches are there smart watches are there analog watches are there also we have mobiles so we don't need to rely or depend on nature to measure time but in early days we used to depend on nature to determine time so that was all for today i hope you enjoyed this session if you have any doubt feel free to ask okay so see you in next session until then take care bye bye